guys, so appreciate sleeping so much, especially because most of the days I sleep really late and I have to get up so early. And so I just feel like I would really appreciate every single extra minute I can get of sleep. So in this video, I will tell you how to get up late, yet you can be on time. So these are really little tips, but they actually save a lot of time. And I hope they would be helpful for you. And let's get in the video. The first thing you want to do is that you will need to prepare every single thing you're gonna use from the moment you get out of your bed till the moment you get out of your house. You have to even to prepare the comb or the brush you're gonna brush your hair with because you will wake up feeling fresh and not worried about anything because sometimes you worry about which outfit you're gonna wear and you take a lot of time just to choose which one you try and many ones. So you just have to prepare every single thing you're gonna use and this will save so much time. As many times when I want something, I just find out that I've lost it and I take at least 15 minutes to find it and sometimes I don't find it at all and it just ends up wasting a lot of time and it's actually so horrible so preparing everything and just putting them together on your desk or next to your bed or something helps so much. Tell me do you feel the same? Hold me in your arms again I need so you me For example, if you set your alarm for 8 in the morning, you have to set time for yourself and keep in mind that you don't have to take more than 15 minutes to get out of bed and you just have to make a specific time for everything you do while getting ready. Like for example, if you have your outfit prepared, you won't take more than 2 minutes changing your clothes. So if you're gonna shower or something, you have to put specific time because for me, I daydream and think about everything in the shower, so I just take like an hour or something. So if you will shower that day, you just have to like put maybe 20 minutes to shower. In. Of course, it would be better if you showered the day before. So just put in mind that you have a specific time to do everything, like for example, 5 minutes to change your clothes, 5 minutes to brush your hair, 10 minutes for applying makeup like that. So you would just try to set your alarm and wake up as late as possible because you will try to do everything you do while getting ready in the least time possible. So one of the most important tips you need to know is that you don't need to check all your texts or something because every time I just check my phone and check everything I end up being really late because time just passes by really quickly and I don't even care and I don't even look at the clock or something I'm just so busy looking at everything and sometimes I end up watching my YouTube videos which wastes much bunch of time without I even notice so you don't have to do, to do this every single day if you want to curl your hair or something, it would be way better if you did that the day before. If you think your hair gets messed up really quickly, you can apply hairspray after curling your hair. But if you wake up late and you have no time to curl your hair and you haven't curled it the day before or something, you can just do a messy bun or a ponytail. And I actually have another video which is 21 beauty life hacks that the girls should know. And it has some hair and stuff like that and makeup life hacks and beauty hacks which you can use and I'll also link that down below so hope you watch and it'll be helpful for you. Well, thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and maybe this sounds a little bit useless but if you haven't tried these tricks before and you tried it you will actually notice the difference and so tell me in the comments below what other videos you'd like to watch next and bye!